everybody, it is Sammy Cheese here, back with another video. Now, today I'll be showing you how to get an animated, um, let's call it video on your project, how to get an animated um, user profile picture. So, as you can see, mine moves with different colors. And how I did this was very simple. All I need is one short website. Now, I just want to give another quick shout out to um, Disorder real quick because he's just watching one of my videos right now. So, shout out to you because why not? Also, to my friend RogerDroid57, um, go follow him right now. He's a great guy. Uh, so, if we go to my profile, I, as you can see, oh, sorry about that. I have my moving profile picture. Now, this is simple. All you got to find or design is a little thing that moves like as you can see here's why I'm going to distorter his has a glitch thing that says distorter so there's many websites you can design logos with you can also use uh, free online designing tools which is what I did but to actually make this this website's amazing so this is Giphy if you guys don't know about it if I go to my account um, you, sh you should make an account uh, as you can see, you can make lots of gifts. So you want to press create. And after you have all of your, let's say, um, images done, these are all images. So a gif is basically a bunch of images that make a picture. So it's a moving picture. So this is a gif, this gify symbol. So you can choose one by one, or you can choose a video. Or... If you have just a video, YouTube video, um, or a Vimeo video, you can just paste it. Choose video, which I'm going to do, and I guess I'll do my Sorry, this got cut. Um, I was just going to say I'll do my intro, and here's the next part. As you can see, if we continue, sorry for cutting that, um, but it takes my intro, for example, which I'm going to use. Uh, Giphy's are images, so they really don't have sound unless you separate the sound files, which I'll show you how to do if you want to do this on a project in the part two of this, so next video. But as you can see, here's my intro playing, but it only plays a little bit of it, so you can drag the duration out of the original um, images that you selected or video. And if I put it at 7.9, the full length of my video, it'll play the whole intro. And I can drag the start time if I can, well, I can improve the start, well, I can make the start time lower, I can do anything to this, so I can trim it. So I guess I want my full intro. Um, you can also do captions. Look, hello. And I can move it around, I can, I can make it bigger, smaller, and I can put it right over here. So you can meme it, you can do default, pixel, um, so you can do all type rainbow, glitch, wavy, typing, and then uh, climatic, or you can just leave it normal, default, and gif about fancy. There's so many. You can add stickers. Um, I, I can add a heart if I really want to. Um, I can also easily delete things. This website's amazing. There's filters. I can put in a spooky filter, bad TV, lighting. So you can easily make anything on this website. This website's amazing. You can draw, which is nice. And those are some of the things you can do. Sparkle. There's so many things. Continue to upload. And uh, you can add tags, public, you most likely want to do off, and then you can upload Giphy. And this is how it's going to create it, and this is how you are going to get your GIF image. So this is very simple to do, and this is why I love it. So I'll also show you a website, um, website that you can use to make these images. Uh, but right now I'm going to use my video. So since my video is 7.9 seconds, 8, that's a long time. This is private. So what I can do here is now I can download it. So share it, favorite, copy link, save image as. I'm going to do Giphy, I guess. 
And now if we go over here and we grab, I don't think it will do the GIF on Mac. Oh wait, it will, yes. it. So as you can see, it made my GIF. And all you gotta do is make sure you get that click option and press save as, save image as. Now if we head over back to Scratch, and I create a new project, and I love this little button create, um, I can upload a new sprite, and I can select my Giphy image. It'll import, it might take a little while because there's going to be lots of images, um, so all you gotta do is wait a little bit because this is going to be many images. Uh, so after that's done, I'll show you a simple way where you're, you can get your GIF working simply. So this is eight seconds worth of photos, one by one, frame by frame, and lots of them are black and boring. So I should have cropped it a little bit, but it might take a little long to import. Um, I forgot, maybe you have to upload it from the cat sprite. Uh, I mean like upload it as not just an image. But we will see, oh, you can do it just as an image. So here's your image. You most likely want to size it and set it to it. But first, let's see how many images there is. So there's 119 in this. So it's a lot, so you can expect to wait. So if we go to one green flag clicked, um, if we want this to go forever, forever, uh, where's next costume? next costume and put uh, set switch to costume Giphy so basically the first one and let's see how this goes as you can see it's fast forwarded so it's going to keep on playing forever so we can add a wait by one second so it's very odd but if we change it to a tenth of a second it's still very slow, so you can keep on adjusting it and until you get the normal speed that you would like. So, I'm going to keep on going lower and lower until I get it. So, it's a little slow, but it works. So, this is how you get your own GIF in the Scratch Projects. So, then all we got to do is change the size. I guess I'll set it to 120. So that covers most of the screen. If I up it to 140, as you can see, it takes up the whole screen and it shows basically your gift image. And now this is how you do it simply. So for your profile picture, all you gotta do is upload it after you download the image. But for now, I'll show you a website I use to make this logo. I will probably be updating it. So I use this website called Canva. So look up Canva on Google canva.com right here so if you load into this you can make frame by frame and just keep on changing it if you find the scratch dimensions which I put on screen it's very simple that's how I made my logo here so thank you guys for watching this video on how to make a gif image gif profile picture gif anything on scratch so if you like to see more of these videos, like, subscribe, and comment. These videos will be weekly. Also, I made a tutorial if you want to get a moving thumbnail, aka a gift thumbnail. I'll say gift. I don't know if that's a word. But thank you for watching this video. Like I said, like if you actually like the video, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in my next video.